Hello and welcome to the show. It's me, John Park, and it is time for JP's product pick of the week here on Adafruit TV. Thank you so much for your patience. We had some technical difficulties, and then I started the thing uh, mid-song, so you didn't get to hear the whole song, but we'll play it again at the end. I know people love that song. Uh, so before I go any further, I will tell you that you can head on over to this product page at that URL right there, or that QR code, uh, and you can watch this show from inside the page. Uh, you will be able to get this week's product pick at a significant discount, and you don't need a coupon code. You just throw it in your cart, buy it, and it's half off. I believe it's half off today. Uh, but before I say any more, uh, let's have Lady Ada introduce this product going back a couple years. Take it away, Lady Ada. Dun, dun, dun. Halloween. Look at the eyes. Halloween. Yes, it's that time. It's Halloween. I mean, we, we said a couple weeks ago, August 1st is the beginning of Halloween. Halloween. So we have a board uh, to celebrate because we're going all in on Halloween. Ween. Ugh, I can't even keep track of what I'm saying anymore because I'm so excited about how spooky this is. Um, so this is a development board that's kind of like a feather. It's feather compatible. Um, we called it wing just because the pond was so good. You can plug feather wings into the back. It's got this, this header uh, spot on the back you can plug wings into. But it's, it's got a SAMD21 uh, G18, just like our feather M0. And it's got eight megabytes of flash. So you can store like long sound effects, which we thought was really cool. Um, people wanted to do props and they wanted to have um, long clips of sound. Um, so here it is. I'll show it off. So you get the two feather connectors um, on the back here. Um, you can plug in a LiPo battery to charge it, or you can also um, plug it directly with USB, which I'll do right now. It's got this light sensor. This is actually a reverse mount light sensor. So the light sensed is actually from the top, but it's picking place on the bottom. It's got a Class D speaker amplifier. So we're going to have a little speaker in the store soon you can plug in to have a portable um, like audio um, output. And you can also just solder to the pads back here if you want to connect your own. We have a port here for plugging in a NeoPixel strip. We have a port here for plugging in a sensor with a JST connector. We have an I2C port, which is, um, you can plug Grove connectors. So if you have any like seed uh, Grove devices that are I2C, you can plug them in and they'll fit here. Uh, we have an on off switch. So that's kind of nice. You can turn it on and off. Right now it's off. We have a NeoPixel. Um, which is used by CircuitPython or you to, de to you know de debug what's going on. Um, we've got the eight megabytes of flash for storing files, CircuitPython, audio clips, images, animations, whatever you want. Um, let me see what else is on here. Get a little potentiometer for the audio. And on the back, we've got this awesome um, full color 120 by 120 TFT. And so you can use it for anything. It doesn't have to be this eyeball project demo but you know like we're really into the spooky eyes so you can even uh you get one of each and now you can have the spooky eyes like kind of staring at you oh creepy um and then of course you can use the light sensor right here to um the code will um automatically dilate the eyes when you cover up the light sensors so that's kind of cool you can kind of see a little bit yeah and you can tune the, the code and then it's got some capacitive touch pads here which you can use also as analog inputs so it's kind of like we thought, like, you know, what are people building Halloween props? Like, what, are you, what kind of projects are people building for Halloween? And then we designed a board that was optimized for that. There's a TFT for debugging output, or if you want to display anything, it has audio output. You can connect servos to it. You can connect NeoPixels to it. Uh, you can play um, short video or animation clips, like this, this eyeball animation. And uh, we're going to be doing some fun Halloween projects, because we've always, we love Halloween, we want to do more Halloween projects, but uh, we never had a board designed for it. So now we do. The Halloween. Okay. Coming at you. What's that? One eyeball. Yeah, that's right. That is it. Uh, in fact, let me jump to my down shooter here, because I've got one right here. Look at that beauty. Uh, this right here. That's my product pick of the week this week. It is the Halloween M0. Turn that on, you'll get your little spooky eyeball happening right there. I have a, I have a battery plugged into this one, so I don't need USB on that. Uh, this thing is fantastic. This is actually um, almost, I'd almost say this is one of the most versatile boards you can get, even though it is super specifically uh, a 
Halloween style board. So hold on, let me, uh, let me make that a little smaller there. Uh, and the reason I say it's so versatile, if you look there, what is this? It's a Cortex M0 uh, at SAMD21 chip. So pa fantastic for doing Arduino and CircuitPython on. It's got a huge amount of storage on it, eight megabytes of flash. So you can store MP3s or WAV files to do playback stuff, graphics, animation, code. If you have lots and lots of it, uh, you're just not gonna run out of room there. Uh, and then it is really a feather. So you can plug feather wings into it. Why would you want to do that, right? Well, here's a really nice example of one. This is a latching relay feather wing. If you plug this in and then provide it uh, power, you can send power to an animatronic prop type of object. If you want to scare people on your front porch, uh, this is a great way to use the board both as your sort of visual element with the eyeball or, or other graphics, as well as use that light sensor to tell when someone walks up close to your porch. So it's a really good one uh, for those types of haunt props. And I'll show some, some learn guide examples in a second. Uh, so what else has it got? It's got the onboard NeoPixel. It has a port for plugging in NeoPixel strips and we make them with JST connector. Uh, it also has a port that you can just use for outside uh, analog reads, so potentiometers or, or other three pin stuff. And we have a Stemma, full-size Stemma. It's not the little Stemma QT, but we have a four pin I squared C port. So you can plug in any of our boards that are sensors uh, typically, but other I squared C things as well. Uh, and then of course on the front, we have that gorgeous, gorgeous display there. This is some Phil B code. I'll also point out uh, if we, let's jump to the full down shooter here. Oh, oh I'm, I'm making, uh, making my software angry. There we go. Uh, let me get rid of that one there. I'll put me here. Uh, if you noticed in the video, Lamore had an earlier prototype with a partial silk screen of the skull, but this is the, the final one, which has this really great shading that Phil B, Bill, Phil B did, not Bill Fee, Phil B did, uh, which makes that skull, that Cyclops skull really stand out. Um, also, we've got these alligator clip friendly pads that you can use for any kind of GPIO, but also they work as capacitive touch. So uh, that doesn't do anything on the eyeball demo, but if I grab another one that I have here and I'll, I'll plug the battery in, you can see how that battery goes in just like so. Uh, this is some code you can download that just does uh, kind of like a diagnostic. It runs through some colors and then it gives you uh, info about sensor reads on the different ports. Uh, you can see here when I touch these cap touch teeth, we get little lights on the screen to light up or circles to light up on the screen uh, to tell us that it knows we're touching things. It'll also read the accelerometer. This has an accelerometer built on so you can do some motion sensing types of things with it as well. If you want to use this as a wearable, let's say it's up on your hat or an eye patch or your sleeve or whatever, uh, you can tap it to do things. You can do orientation based things as well. Uh, so let's actually jump over for a second to the learn guides for this. Uh, because there are many. So if you just go to Adafruit Learning and oops, hold on, uh, type in Halloween, you will be able to search for a bunch of guides, including there's the main guide here, Halloween M0 main guide. Uh, here's one I did, which was this Halloween light paint stick. So this is, a, I think, a nice example. Let me see if this battery is still going to work on this one. Uh, here's a nice example of integrating it into a prop where I'm actually not even using the eye. I've kind of covered the eye there. I've zip tied it to this stick. I've got a battery on there. Uh, I have a potentiometer going into uh, one of the ports there and I have the NeoPixels coming off of the other one. So if I turn this on, uh, let's see, maybe that battery is, I think that battery's kaput. I'll plug this in and we'll see if we'll get it to light up. This is a, uh, there we go. This is a light paint stick project, so you can do persistence of vision things by moving this around as it sort of paints uh, a pattern on there, and you can pick different patterns using the potentiometer on there. Uh, so that's a project. Uh, there are some lightsaber projects, Halloween pumpkin projects. Here's an eyeball project I did. Uh, you saw this, the little add-on. This doesn't come with it, but a little add-on are these nice acrylic half-dome lenses, which work pretty well for, uh, for eyeball-y stuff. I'll go ahead and plug this one in. So you can see that uh, actually I think looks a little nicer in real life than it does on camera. 
uh, but it gives you some sort of refractions as well as the magnification. So uh, from side angles there, we got a lot of bright lights on it there. Uh, it, it looks a little more dimensional uh, with that. And so we also have a, an acrylic holder for that. So you can use some, uh, I think M2.5 or M3 fasteners to hold that on. Here's this Hocus Pocus book uh, spirit board, like a Ouija. There's a, this one, it was actually on the M4, but I think you can do this project with the uh, M0 as well. We have, we have uh, two flavors of this, uh, this product. Uh, and on and on. In fact, here's one I had done, uh, this Halloween jump scare trap. So this one uses uh, sensing. We've got a PIR sensor. This one uses the speaker. So you can attach these types of external speakers to it. And it's got a little amplifier built in. Uh, and in this case, I've got a relay running. So it uh, trips the relay and drops a, a spider and scares the heck out of the poor guy on the porch there. Uh, and on and on. What other projects? I think there's a couple of pages of these if you scroll through. Uh, just using it as a, as a googly eye here. This is uh, using the accelerometer, this Halloween googly eye project. Uh, and so that's why I think this is a great one. It's, of course, very Halloween uh, themed, but it is also a general purpose board that you can use all year long. So it's really both a dessert topping and a floor wax, so you can't miss with it. Uh, Let's see, I don't have uh, code examples up right now. I think all of these examples I, I'm running happen to be um, in Arduino. Maybe the paint stick one isn't, but that one's acting flaky, so I won't open that up. Uh, but you can treat this just like you, uh, you can pretty much any uh, Feather M0 type of project, but then you get all of those extra goodies. Um, and in fact, since I, since I mentioned adding wings, let's take a look uh, at the back of this board here down shooter. I'll make a smaller me there. Get rid of that one. There we go. Uh, so you can see this one's not plugged in and the code won't uh, do anything. It won't know about it. But this is both a standard feather wing pin header spacing. Uh, so if I plug into there, you can see I'm plugging into uh, this one's, oh, my, my feather wing is a little bent here. Uh, but I'm, I'm plugging into the standard uh, sort of center row there. But you still have that outer row. So if you want to plug in uh, particularly cables, you could use some solid core wire. But if you have DuPont connector cables, uh, you can plug into those as well. So that's nice because it means that you have um, a feather wing kind of covering a whole bunch of your ports, but you don't need to add a stacking header or anything like that. You actually get this double row, which is really convenient. Um, so that's, that's a nice uh, bonus there for this. Um, so let's see. I think that covers it. Let me, let me check and see if there's any uh, questions or comments in our chats. By the way, if you're wondering where the chat is, if you're over uh, in one of our places without so much chat, such as Twitch, uh, you can head over to our Discord. That's adafru.it slash Discord. Uh, you can see here, I'm just going to plug a battery in. You get a little LiPo battery. You can also use a uh, three AA or three AAA. Works pretty well for that. Let's see here, we've got this convenient uh, on-off. Did I turn it off? I did. That was... Not so convenient in that case. Um, and there are, of course, some 3D printed cases the Reese Brothers made. There's actually a nice one uh, uh, over on printables that Todd Kurt did for a Hackaday thing. This was actually a giveaway for a Hackaday Super Conference one year, so a lot of people got these in their bags as well. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, our, our Discord chat looks like that right there. Oh, it's got an eyeball GIF going on. Uh, and there are, by the way, nice uh, drag and drop UF2s for the eyeballs. So you've, you've got some pre-baked ones. There's uh, some werewolves and dragons and other things like that. In fact, uh, from the Department of Ill-Advised Live Demos, let's try that out. So what I'm going to do is I'll plug this in over USB. Uh, and then I'm going to double click reset, which is going to put this into bootloader mode. So double click, you can see the light comes on, uh, display is just blank at the moment. And now on my computer has shown up a um, Halo Boot, I think is the name of it. Let's, let me check it. You won't see this, but I'm just going to 
uh, check mine. Yeah, Hallow Boot showed up. Uh, so I'm going to go back to our, I think this is in the main guide. So I'll head on over here to main guide, like so. And let's put uh, the down shooter camera there too. So I'll, I'll squeeze into the little spot here. Uh, there we go. And... So Spooky Eyes, uh, if you click on this link here in the main guide. While this is done in Arduino, and you can certainly open up the Arduino code and get the, the compiled graphics necessary for it, uh, you can customize it, you can do all these great things. If you just want that running on there, that's the, the thing people worry about is, hey, if I, if I put CircuitPython or some other code, how am I going to get back to the really cool eyeball? Uh, you just go here and download one of these UF2s. So, so long as you've put... Circuit Python on the device, it can then uh, go to the bootloader and you can drag and drop one of these UF2s. So let's try uh, this Dragon Eye. So I'm just going to click on that UF2 to download it. Uh, and then I'm just dragging and dropping it again. Sorry, you won't, you won't see this because uh, I don't have my screen shared for that. But I'm just dragging spooky eye dragon.uf2. Uh, it's uploading it right now. And then it restarted. So now you can see we've got this nice spooky dragon eye. I can cover the light sensor to adjust the slitty pupil uh, dilation there. Uh, it's a little blown out on the screen there, but it looks fantastic in real life. Uh, so that's how easy it is to get those back on there in case, in case you're wondering. Don't, don't fear. You can get those back on easily. Uh, all right. So let's see. Unless we have any other questions, uh, I'll say head back on over to this site right here, let's see if we still have any in stock. I think we had about 100 to start with, and I think we put a limit of four. Uh, sometimes we have a limit of 10 on things, but for juicier items, we want to make sure everyone gets, gets some. Uh, so, yeah, we've got 41 in stock, so you can still get one, and they are half price, $17.48. Uh, it's a great bargain on these. Uh, they also have lanyard uh, holes on them, so you can attach them to just wear them around your neck, or you can attach them to costumes using those holes. Uh, so it's a really versatile board. Uh, that is going to do it. So let me jump over here and unplug that one there. Oh. All right, here we go. So that is my product pick of the week this week. It is the Halloween M0. Spooky. That's going to do it for today. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park, and this has been JP's Product Pick of the Week. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.